Hi, Dr. Scott Jensen here. I'm running to be the next governor of Minnesota. I expect to face off against Governor Walls, and I have made it very clear that our campaign is going to be incredibly transparent. Governor Walls has talked about that, but I'm not seeing it happen. For everybody concerned about this issue, this is transparent. You can see through it. This is not. This is opaque. What is it going to take for Governor Walls to be transparent? Let's see what's in this one. What does transparency look like? Well, we went over it. You can see through it. Governor Walls has been less than transparent about his emails. The fact of the matter is, recent email exchanges dating back to October of 2020 revealed that his chief of staff told the Department of Health that the department's numbers on how COVID was spreading were less useful than what he expected. A whistleblower leaked that. That doesn't sound transparent. Is deception the motivation for not being transparent? Well, Governor Walz, about a year ago, we saw an email stream that some of the people who worked for you were interested in trying to blame the spread of COVID-19 in the nursing homes and assisted living centers on parents of children who were going to sporting events and possibly spreading it around because they might have socialized together. So when you accuse them, is that the way you dodge? Because that's the next question. Is accusation a tool for covering up a lack of transparency? I think we have to ask that question. Are you willing to accuse others in order to hide your lack of transparency? On November 10th, 2020, Governor Walls issued an emergency order 20-96, and in it, the order recites, due to careful contact tracing and continuous research, we now have a far greater understanding of the way that the pandemic spreads. Hmm. But just a month earlier, his chief of staff was saying that the department's numbers were less useful because they were small. At that time, the Commissioner of Health, Jan Malcolm, said, people look at the primary case numbers and think these are small impacts that don't justify the dialbacks we propose. She urges her staff to engage in creative thinking. Hmm. Creative thinking might be the answer. Maybe that's how we become transparent. Would a press conference be a way of walking the walk and being transparent? Governor Walls, do you have one or two emails that the public should have access to. Is your team looking for just data that will magnify the concerns they have or justify the dialbacks? Are accusations a tool whereby you can blame someone else for something that might have occurred from a policy decision you made? When your Department of Health commissioner tells the staff to be more creative, and we see that in an email, what does that mean? And by the way, the other day, you made a comment that the highly effective vaccines in almost every instance will keep you away from death. You were asked about General Colin Powell. And you said, I'm willing to bet of those 111 deaths over the last four days, there won't be more than one or two that were vaccinated. But that's not true from October 4th to about November 5th. There were 671 deaths and 44% of those deaths announced in that period. We're in fully vaccinated people. Transparency is more than a word, Governor Walls. It's a challenge. I challenge you, be transparent. This is transparency. This is not. Scott Jensen, thank you.